Is there somebody in your life who completely rains on your parade? You try to be positive. You try to talk about law of attraction. You try to manifest good stuff for your life. And this person is always coming around, poo-pooing everything, talking crap about stuff, spreading their negative vibes all over the place. And you are having a hard time keeping your feelings positive and your outlook going towards what you want to experience and you want to know how do you stay positive around negative people. This whole week we're talking about mood, mindset, and state. This is your disposition. This is kind of how we behave in our everyday lives, the way that we interact with other people, how we feel on a consistent basis. This is all about dealing with your mood dealing with being a human being day to day. I think that's something we can all relate to. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I am a mindset coach and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you are struggling with maintaining a sunny disposition while you're waiting for your manifestations to come, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching and we can get to the heart of your issues and address your specific limiting beliefs that might be standing in your way. The link to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching is in the description below. Now, dealing with a negative friend, coworker, family member, partner even, this is something I hear a lot and this can kind of make it a little bit tougher for us as we go on our journey, trying to understand our place in the universe, trying to understand our power, trying to harness it and use it out in the open without criticism, which makes us just doubt everything. It makes our manifestations get halted in their tracks basically. So this is a big one for a lot of people and I just want to make sure that we are keeping an open mind about what it is that we have to experience in our worlds. Because I think a lot of us forget that we are able to mold all of our situation, not just the things that come to us and the situations that we can cultivate, but we can really work on the dynamic between us and another person and shape them or mold them into the version of them that we would like to interact with. Now, before we get into it, please make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach more people and everyone deserves to know that they are the power of their world. Now, when you're dealing with a negative person in your life, we're going to use the term negative. It's kind of a blanket statement, but it's anybody that kind of brings you down or poo-poos your ideas or doesn't really let you dream big when you're in their presence. That's kind of what we're talking about here. I'm using the term negative, but that's just, again, just a blanket statement to kind of get the message across. When we're dealing with negative people, especially those who have been in our lives for a long time, like a parent or a sibling, a best friend, if it's somebody that you have to see every day, like a coworker, a boss, or your significant other or roommate, someone like that, it can get really difficult to kind of separate yourself away from that situation and drop that story because you have a lot of history involved, you have a lot of emotion, you know this person inside and out, you've known them for a long time, or maybe you just see them all the time, you're saturated by their presence, and it's hard for you to break away. It's not like you can actually just remove yourself. Sometimes you just kind of have to be around them. The first thing we need to understand when we are trying to change a negative person in our life is that we are actually holding them in the vibrational pattern that they are performing in. It is our story that they're negative, our belief and our understanding and our reaction to their behavior that keeps them behaving that way because we've experienced their negativity or we have drummed it up somehow through our own manifestations. We see it play out over and over. Every time we react to it, we get more of it and it just feeds itself like the snake eating its own tail, that kind of thing. It's just a perpetual motion machine of emotions and reactions and then more emotions and more reactions. So getting a hold of the concept that it is our perception, our beliefs, our expectations of them and their behavior that is creating the 
pen or the cell that they are kind of jailed to, the personality traits that they are stuck with until you decide to change that story, change that narrative. Now this can be done in a multitude of ways. You want to employ your manifestational techniques like visualization, seeing them open up and start learning about their own journey, see them discovering law of attraction, see them telling you that they're finding out more about themselves, visualize them reacting to things differently, use past revision to rewrite the way things have gone in past arguments or incidences from your past that stuck out or even just things they might say during the day. What we want to do is use all of our tools, affirmations, scripting, visualizing, self-talk, telling ourselves over and over that they're discovering themselves, they're opening up. You can't believe how positive they're being. Oh my God, every day my mom is telling me a compliment. She loves seeing me flourish. My parents are so excited for me to be independent. They love the idea of me being free and an adult and making my own decisions. Oh my goodness, every time I go into work, my coworker has the nicest things to say to me. They're always complimenting me. They're always having a great day. I love speaking with them because they have exciting and fun things to talk about. You want to start telling these kinds of stories. You want to script about it. You want to visualize it. You want to, again, use affirmations to change the narrative. If your spouse is always criticizing you, you need to start telling yourself over and over and over and over and over and over again that he always compliments you. He loves to hear your ideas. He loves to communicate you. He loves the give and take of a 50-50 relationship. Decide how it looks for you to be in a healthy communication with this person. Whatever that looks like, how do they support you? What kind of things do they say? Do they compliment you? Do they compliment themselves? How do they talk to other people? How do they talk about their job? Whatever, things like this. Get a super clear picture so that you know exactly the version of them that you would like to select. Because what's happening right now is you are continuously choosing or selecting or manifesting or realizing or creating the version of them that is negative, the version of them that never has anything positive to say, the version of them that can't see the silver lining, whatever. It's your continual selection of this version of them that is keeping them in your reality. So we want to start rebuilding, stripping away the old story, deciding what version of them we want to experience. Once we know that, we set our GPS for that location, that version of them, and we go forward there and we do not entertain any inkling of an idea that they are not that version of themselves. What do I mean by this? Well, there's going to be a transitionary period. You know how when you're manifesting things, there's kind of this like back and forth that happens. And that is due to our own level of acceptance, our own ability to step into that reality, to choose that parallel universe and completely mentally be there without fighting ourselves, without arguing, without doubting ourselves, the back and forth, the hot and cold, the weirdness, that's kind of our transitionary period. So we need to be super diligent about that. That's kind of like when you're in an airplane and it goes through the clouds and you have that turbulent area, but once you get above that, it's smooth sailing. So we go through these periods where we're fighting with ourselves, we're doubting ourselves, we're questioning whether it's not happening, we're seeing evidence of the contrary, and we're like, wait, I thought I was rewriting them to be positive. Why does she come in here and tell me my boots look like shit? You have to remain diligent because you're on your way. Just like if you wanted to drive from LA to New York and you set your GPS for New York, you wouldn't get out of the car in Las Vegas and be super pissed that you weren't in New York yet. You would understand that I'm on my way. I am becoming the version of me that is in New York now. You are becoming the version of you that chooses the version of them that is positive, if that makes sense. So what do you do in the meantime during this turbulent period? How do you keep a level head and stay focused on the destination and not let their negativity affect you? This is what I tell my clients. I say, you have to kind of placate them. You treat them like your drunk friend. You know, when your friend gets drunk and they're pissed and they're talking shit about everybody in the bar and you're just like, okay, crazy. Okay, silly girl. Yep, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. They deserve every second of it. They deserve it. And you just let them live in their little fantasy world. And in your mind, you're like, whatever you got to tell yourself, girl, let's just get you home to bed. This is how we want to approach it in the meantime, because 
you are going to have to remain in the reality where they are completely positive and understanding and receptive or whatever it is that looks like to you. You have to stay there while the 3D world matches up to it. If you go back, if you create them a new way, and then the second you are in their presence, you get sucked back in again, you might as well start all over again because you're going to just be going back and forth between realities. So stay focused. Treat them like your drunk friend. Treat them like a toddler, you know, like an, an angry child having a tantrum. You just let them do their thing and you just kind of like, okay, <laughs> that's how you want to act. You know, you just got to keep that, like, it's like an inner joke. It's just like a, <laughs> okay, I guess. In my reality, actually, you're loving life right now. So this is really fun to watch. And that's as far as we take it. That's as much as we let it affect us. Because nothing can affect us unless we let it. So I want you to comment down below, nothing can affect me unless I let it. Nothing can affect me unless I let it. Comment that down below and that is to solidify in your mind that just because something happens in the 3D world, just because something happens that does not align with the idea of where you are going does not mean that you will not get there. It just means that you're not there yet. You're just on your way. It's a chance for you to re-solidify, re-choose, re-cement, reaffirm that this is where I'm going. This, I don't know about this temper tantrum. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not worried about it. I know that the version of you is positive, shiny, sunshine, rainbows, whatever, at least nice to be around. That's the direction we're headed and that's all we're going to entertain. If you would like more information on how to actually create or choose or select or build this version of your person that is a more positive version of them, check out my Manifesting a Specific Person workshop in the description below. That'll kind of give you some fundamentals and get you on the train of rewriting the story and how to do that. And of course, if you'd like one-on-one -on -one coaching to discuss this very issue and figure out how we can get you and the person that you are having trouble with on the same page, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching. That link is also in the description below. This will be part of my Manifesting a Specific Person playlist, which will be somewhere around this area on the screen. So go ahead and click that and check those videos out if you'd like more information. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST with Q&A. So don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach more people and everyone deserves to know that they are the power of their world. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.